about to meet a San Diego teen who is alerting California residents about wildfires in real time. Please welcome Bennett Kodrowski. Bennett, welcome to the show. And it's such an important project. These fires are just out of control and getting worse every year. Tell us about what you're doing. Yeah, so I created a real-time Twitter bot called CalFireBot that tweets information about California wildfires based on California Highway Patrol reports. And the reason I use California Highway Patrol reports is so that, um, you know, is because motorists and police officers are usually the very first people to spot wildfires. So that makes this bot real time. Mm. And the other component of this bot is the size of the fires that Cal Fire Bot reports. So bigger news sources will report fires that require immediate intervention from fire department from the fire department, while Cal Firebot will report all kinds of fires, like from just sticks burning on the side of the road to something as big as the Dixie Fire, which is currently burning in San Diego, I mean, in California, and has burned close to 200,000 acres. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Dixie Fire was first spotted by uh, Cal Firebot uh, because of the way that Cal Firebot collects information. So the bot is really fast at reporting wildfires. So, so just walk us through it for a second. So what happens is I would like look on my phone. It would tell me where the, where the closest fire is. Does it tell how big it is? You get a sense of like, it, you, certainly if you're a tourist, you would know to avoid an area that had a fire. How does it work? Yeah, so each tweet will show three things. Uh, the first is the actual description of the fire by mm -hmm. the CHP. So like brush fire on this road or something like that. And then the second is the region. So like, for example, San Diego. And then the third is a Google Maps link to the exact location where the person spotted the fire. So you'll be able to see, like if it's to the east, like there's some like dry brush over there, you'll be able to see that's probably where the fire is. Got it. How did you come up with the idea at the beginning? Yeah, so every year my family and I go to Mammoth, which is a town in the Sierra Nevadas in California. And last Bennett, summer Bennett, when we were there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. My brother is the mayor of Mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You're going to get free lift tickets. No, he is. He's the mayor really? of Mammoth, yeah. And he's dealing with all these wildfires right now. Wow. I'm going to actually put you in touch with him when That's we're great. done. Okay, yeah, that'd be very cool. Yeah, because especially in Mammoth, um, wildfires is a very big problem. I think last summer, the Creek Fire was there, which burned over 400,000 acres. Um, and I mean, it was dangerous to be outside because of the smoke and the ashes. And at that time, I kind of realized that there was a lack of uh, real-time information about wildfires. So recently, I created the Cal Fire Bot so that heading into this fire season, people will be uh, informed. Did it, how long, and I don't even know... What a code what, is. What, I know what code <laughs> is, but I don't know what time to create code would be, average time to create code. How long did it take to create the code for this? Yeah, the initial code for Cal Fire Bot uh, it took a few days to make, um, but that wasn't the final version. Um, since then, I've been constantly improving it, um, adding enhancements, uh, like different bots for San Diego and the Bay Area, and then you know graphs and heat maps um, so that people can see the data in a different way. And what are your hopes for the Cal Fire Bot? What do you hope that, that people will learn from it? How do you see it going in the future? Yeah, so... During this fire season, um, people need to stay informed, and so hopefully as more people um, use this information from the bot, they can stay safe. Where do you learn to code? If yes. one wants to learn how to yes, do please. that. Where, is there a code camp? Where do you learn? <laughs> yeah, my school offered a couple of coding classes, and I, I took them all, and then I also taught myself some programming languages online. Wow, do you have other projects? You must. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for like, the last week or so, I've been working on a live map of California wildfires, and that shows the same you know, three key details as Cal Firebot, but they show them as dots on a map so that uh, people can see where fires tend to appear in a more like, visually attractive way. Bennett, are you seeing trends? What trends are you noticing this fire season? Yeah, so the bot has been going for little over a month, so it's collected some very interesting data. And the first is the number of wildfires that are linked with homeless encampments. And the second is uh, like the number of fires that are going on each day. So every single day, 
there have been about 100 fires in California. Wow. Except so for on July 4th, where that number tripled to 300 plus fires because of... Fireworks. Uh, yeah, fireworks being shot out of cars or in dry fields, and that just that tripled the number of fires. That's, That's unbelievable. Well, Gosh. you're doing such amazing Thank work. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for doing this, Bennett. We appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. We'll be right back.